Welcome back to the 805 Barbecue Junkie. I'm George, and today we're gonna make some kebabs. Palimeno kebabs. So let's get started. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, guys, we're gonna build these kebabs. I got some filet mignon, Angus, it's gonna be very delicious. I got some purple onion, just cut it in fours. I got some mushrooms, and I also got some mini sweet peppers. This is what I wanna do with the mushrooms. I want extra flavor. So we're gonna put some teriyaki sauce. And if you notice, the mushroom, it has gills here on the inside of the mushroom. So what I wanna do is get some extra flavor on the mushrooms. So I got a cup of a teriyaki sauce. Just pour a little bit in there. Just like this. We want a little bit of flavor in there. And what's gonna happen, the mushroom is going to suck up all the teriyaki. The mushroom acts like a sponge. Will it be messy? Yes, it will, but I want some extra flavors. I want some extra flavors in this kebabs. I just don't want it, you know, regular mushroom flavor, which is fine, you know, not a problem. But this is what I like. This is what I like doing. We want some extra flavor. So that looks pretty good. We'll put this to the side. Let's go ahead and get started on our filet mignon. Favorite cut of beef. Cut this bad boy open. Got some nice steaks in here. Oh, delish. This is gonna be insane good. So there is a little bit of silver skin right there, which I like to remove. Just get your knife, come along the side and remove it. Try not to remove too much meat because this meat is really delicious. It looks pretty good. It's a little bit of silver skin on this one. A little bit here. They did a pretty good job at Sam's Club, the butcher did. Just a few kebabs. I think that I think that would be a little bit better. Just put them in smaller wedges. You At this point, you would have to eyeball exactly how thick you want the meat. And then you gotta keep in mind too, it pretty much gotta be al almost all the same thickness, therefore it cooks all at the same time. And today we're gonna use Uncle Steve's Thick Meat Shake. I'll put a link in the description box so you can get your own. And if you mention to Uncle Steve that you came from the 805 Barbecue Junkie, he'll give you a discount. Or he might just hook you up with something. Very generous guy. So let's go ahead, season. There's no binders needed here. The meat's techy enough. Mix this around. I think that's pretty good. Cause I really want the meat to shine. So that was pretty good right there. Get yourself a bamboo skewer. You always can soak these in water, but I usually don't. So they don't burn yourself some onion, break off, try to break some of it off. Uh, you can go different layers. I got three layers right here. So we'll go right here. Something like that. Put this little one right here. And at this point, I mean, you can, you can set your skewer up how, however you guys like. We got the teriyaki mushroom. Put a little bit on the meat as well. Why not? Let it get all married. 
Check that out. Let's put another piece of meat. It's gonna be some good eats. We got our sweet peppers and we're gonna just put them whole. Something like that. We'll come back with some more onion. Just like that guys. Simple and easy. Just continue layering. So let me go with another pepper on this one. But you know what? Change your mind. Just whatever you guys prefer, you know? So this is what it looks like. Pretty easy. Let me go ahead and knock these out and I'll bring you right back. Stick around guys. Don't they look beautiful? Oh, we got this one with just peppers, a little bit of onion. But check this out. I was able to build quite a bit. So look at that. Layer after layer and layer of flavors. Let's go outside and build that fire, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and use our Weber. I got a fire cup, a fire starter. I have a link in the description box. So you can get your own. Got a charcoal basket. Let's go ahead and do this. Put a fire cup, Just got a simple torch. Light that bad boy up. Put our basket right there. This should take between 10 to 15 minutes. I'll bring you back when it's ready. Stick around guys. Looks about ready. Let's go ahead and put our coals. All we're gonna do is spread our coals. We're gonna go ahead and put our grill grate. Once that gets hot enough, we'll go ahead and clean it. It's gonna be hot and fast, guys. We want that char. We want those onions to caramelize. We want those mushrooms to cook down. It's gonna be bomb. It's pretty simple. I seen these kebabs at the store and they were asking a ridiculous price for them. And I was like, dang, I can just build my own for half the price and better quality meat as well. Like I said, this is gonna be very quick. Come in here, turn them. The fire is extremely hot. So these will cook very quickly. These are done. Took about 25 to 30 minutes, not too long. I got the nice char that I was looking for. Look at that. Flavor after flavor. Some beautiful char. Got aluminum pan right here, aluminum tray. Like I said, I wasn't looking for temps. It was more about color and the char. I'm thinking they're overcooked. That's for sure. That's no big deal. These look outstanding. Gorgeous. Oh, it is hot too. These guys can get a little bit more. Put this to the side. Let me let me uh, point something out. I didn't use that much charcoal because I didn't want the flame being too hot. So you seen how much charcoal I had in that basket. If you put too much charcoal your heat's gonna be way too hot and this will burn. That's why I only used a little bit of charcoal. And I spread it around too. Yeah, these these are done guys. Alright, stick around, I'll see you guys inside. Kebabs. Simple and easy guys, nothing to it. Still nice and hot. Go for a quick taste. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
Freaking delicious. Mmm. Well seasoned. Ooh, soft. Meat tender. Mmm. Freaking delicious. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Good bite. Ooh, hot. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That pepper's real nice. Let's try this mushroom with the teriyaki sauce. Delish. <laughs> oh, man. Mmm. Freaking delicious. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Delish. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys in a few days. Thank you for watching the 805 Barbecue Junkie. If you like what you see, go ahead and give me a subscribe. Help me grow my channel out. Till then, gracias. Thank you. I'll catch you guys on the next one.